Do you only knit with straight needles? Do you think circular needles look strange and complicated? They're actually really easy to use and very similar to knitting with straight needles. A great way to give circular needles a go is to use them instead of your straight needles to knit back and forth in rows. That's right, circulars are not just for knitting in the round. You can use them for all your knitting. Once you see how handy they are, you may never go back to straights. Let me show you how easy it is to knit flat with circular needles instead of straights. Circulars do look very different from straight needles. It's hard to get your head around how they work at first. It helps to think of circular needles like mittens on a string for a toddler. They're still a pair of mittens, just connected by a long string. Circular needles are still a pair of knitting needles too. It's just they have short tips connected by a long cord instead of being two long pointy sticks. You hold circular needles similarly to straight needles. Instead of holding a long straight needle with each hand, you hold one tip in your left hand and the other end in your right hand. The cord dangles between them, but forget about that for now. Focus on seeing your circular needle tips as a pair of knitting needles, just like your straights. Casting on is exactly the same on circular needles as straight needles, regardless of what cast on you're using. Here's a demo of the long tail cast on, which uses one needle. You just add stitches to the right tip of the circular needle instead of your right straight needle. And here's how the knit cast on looks on circulars. You cast on using both needle tips in the same way you would use both straight needles. Once you cast on enough stitches to fill the short needle tip, you need to start moving stitches down from the needle tip onto the thin cable. This is similar to moving cast on stitches down along a straight needle to be able to free space at the tip to add more stitches. Keep going until you have cast on all your stitches. With a straight needle, you can only cast on a limited number of stitches and they may need to be bunched up together to fit. There's more space for stitches on the long circular cord and circular needles come in different lengths too. Once you have cast on all your stitches, you start knitting just like you would with straight needles. Your working yarn is at one needle tip. Hold this tip in your left hand, like you would hold your left straight needle. Hold the other needle tip in your right hand. The connecting cord can either lie to the front or behind the tips. It's personal preference. I like it at the back. Put your right tip into the first stitch on the left tip and knit it, moving it across to the right tip. This works exactly the same as knitting with straight needles moving stitches one at a time from the left to the right needle. The only difference is that you're knitting with short needle tips here. So you nudge the next stitches up from the cable to the left needle tip instead of moving them up along a straight needle. When you finish knitting the first row, all the stitches have moved across from the left tip to the right side of the circular needle. So this is where you might get stuck. What do you do now? Guess what? You start the next row the same way as with straight needles. If you've been knitting a while, you do this on autopilot, but stop and think for a second. How do you start the next row with straight needles? You turn your work, and switch the needle to your left hand. Then you pick up the other needle with your right hand and start knitting row two.
So just follow the exact same steps with circular needles. Step one, turn your knitting so the other side is facing you. The working yarn is now at the needle tip, ready to knit. Step two, hold this needle tip in your left hand. Step three, hold the other needle tip in your right hand. Step four, start knitting the row by putting the right tip into the first stitch on the left tip and away you go. Keep knitting as usual. Repeat this at the end of every row. Turn your knitting, switch the tip with stitches on it to your left hand, hold the other tip in your right hand and start knitting another row. You knit row after row with straight needles without even thinking about it, so it may take a few rows to get the hang of doing this with circulars. But you'll soon see how knitting back and forth in rows on circular needles is just like knitting on straights. Actually, using circular needles has several advantages, even if you never knit in the round. To find out what they are, watch my next video, coming soon, or see the link in the description below. Happy knitting!